In this video, we will do decision one, uh, January 2013, Edexcel question two. Let's take a look. We are asked, starting with a list of all the letters in the alphabet in alphabetical order, demonstrate how a binary search is used to locate P. In each iteration, you must make clear your pivot and the part of the list you are retaining. Okay, let's do part A to start with. Okay, so let's uh, actually just do the binary search. So we'll have the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. And we always uh, number our items in the list. So we have number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. Okay, so we're trying to find P. So let's do this in stages. Let's just bring that up a little bit here so we've got a bit more space. We're trying to find P. So stage one. So stage one. Um, you do the first plus the last uh, in the list. So you do 1 plus 26 divided by 2. 27 divided by 2 is 13.5. That's telling you to check the 14th item. Now the 14th item is N. So this is N. It's not P that you're looking for. And because you know they're in alphabetical order, you will ignore 1 to 14 inclusive. So you ignore... 1 to 14 and put a line here just to tell you it can't be anything in that list uh, to start with so that's stage one done let's continue with stage two stage two well now we've got the list 15 to 26 you add your first 15 plus 26 divided by 2 now 15 plus 26 divided by 2 is 20.5 and that's indicating the 21st term now the 21st term is U, and it's clearly not P, so you're going to ignore U and onwards. So you're going to ignore everything from 21 to 26 this time. Okay? So we're going to continue. Let's do stage 3 now. Here's stage 3. So now we've got this part of the list left over, so we're going to add the first 15 plus 20 divided by 2. And that's 35 divided by 2, which is 17.5, which is the 18th term. Now, the 18th term is R, so that's R. It's not P, again, that we're looking for. So we're going to ignore um, everything 18 and above. So we're going to ignore 18 to 20. And stage 4, We have left over here, we, so we add the first 15 plus the 17 over 2, which is the 16th term, and the 16th term is P, and P is located. And there we have demonstrated every step, everything we've discarded and pivoted at each stage along the process, and we've got our four marks here. Okay, so let's uh, do part B now. Part B asks us, find the maximum number of iterations needed to locate any particular letter of the alphabet. What could the maximum number be? Well, let's think about it. Where would, um, for example, it take us, where would the quickest letter be for us to find? Clearly, because the way we do a binary search, the first item we, we look for is the 14th one. If N was the one we were looking for, that would be the first. Now, what, what would take us the longest to get to? Well, a would, because we halve the list and halve it again, and uh, this takes the most times to halve it. So let's just think how many stages that would take. Let's imagine uh, the maximum, I'll do this in a minute, maximum iterations would involve finding A. 
and let's see the steps. So step one, you would do the first plus you would do one plus twenty six over two, which would be the fourteenth one. Okay, and you discard fourteen onwards. Step two, you would end up doing one plus thirteen over two, which would be the seventh one. Step three, and you sorry, and that and therefore you discard seven onwards. And then you would do 1 plus 6 over 2, which would be 3.5, which would be the fourth one. And then you would discard uh, 4 onwards. And then you would do 1 plus 3 over 2, which is going to be the second one. And then you would take a stage 5 and you would have found A. So the maximum number must be 5 iterations. And you get that when you're finding A. So it's just a case of thinking here, A would take the longest one to get to, and working through um, how the process exactly above went, you would see that you would need five turns, and we're done.